have made our way to planet three and getting ready to crash into the rings. But the only thing I need to do is get down to less than one million meters per second before I do. So there's an interesting problem. Our power capacity, we remember, was exceeding our power plant. And so <laughs> so what we'll need to do is we left this pulse laser in here. and. All we need to do is just deactivate it and we're we barely made it. We're at 99% usage, so that's cutting it a little close. Everything else we need. I don't know why these power priorities are this way. They they shouldn't be it's it's probably not important but definitely don't want my thrusters to be going offline or my life support particularly much. I think this is left over from a bug that was in the game for a while. Hopefully it's patched out. Well, for now that's good enough. Let's try it again. working. Somebody always shows up. Most always shows up. It's another miner. So they shouldn't be causing us any problems unless there's unless there's a pirate over there with them. to turn on my headlights and my night vision. I'm not sure we need it all, but we'll start with that. There's there's a yellow glow. And as part of our process that we talked about, we're, we'll just give give the pulse wave a single charge let it completely dissipate before we do it again and anything that glows especially in the beginning the first thing we'll do is we'll get close enough to decide if the shape and the size is correct and if it is then we'll come in even closer and look for fissures and once we see fissures we'll back off and investigate the rock more thoroughly using our pulse wave analyzer and varying distances. And then we'll move in again and shoot the prospector, which is why it doesn't matter what the prospector is because we're not going to ever fire a prospector unless we're 100% sure it's a core. And we're not we're not going to be needing to fire more than one, and we won't be very far away, even in when we do. So, unless we make some mistakes and press some wrong buttons, we're we're not going to be using up limpets. So there's something over there. too far away to know if that's good shape or not but it looks reasonable to me probably this rock right in front of us is is a good shape and size whereas 
either of those two would not be does look like a reasonable shape and size, but probably we would expect the glow to be more than that. And it does have a surface deposit, but it has no fissures so that sort of confirms that the glow was not good enough and we have more glowing rocks but none of them look bright enough this could be we could be seeing it from the end it might be larger than it looks no fissures as well. And no fissures. learning so far is that pretty much we know that none of this will be bright enough so we can down here. Well, we have two prospects that are brighter. Maybe three. I have to try to remember where that orientation is. So this is a core, and the reason I know that is because that that is a fissure right there. So I'll turn off night, night vision and look at it just with our headlight. Turn off our headlight. It's a little bit dark here to see it without the headlight. Sometimes it's better like that to see it just with the night vision without the headlight. This, a lot of this depends on the conditions in the particular ring that you might be in. You can work that out as you progress. I always tend to have the headlight and the night vision on. but. And, there's another one. As I said, the reason we're here is we can spot those we can spot those fissures from quite a ways away. But let's that's something that happens when you're backing up in the pulse. That's 
more of the brightness so that's kind of a data point for the brightness we're looking for although there is a lot of variation so you shouldn't get too trapped into thinking it's always going to be bright it's kind of like saying you'll only find refrigerators in greenhouses and so people only search in greenhouses and they find refrigerators and they say yep for sure that's a true statement where it seems to be true but possibly is not true it's just nobody is looking in white houses and that's why they don't find any but let's do some continuous pulsing which is a technique that you can use with the higher class pulse wave analyzer and you get these that first pulse that lasts a short time it'll give you this these black crinkly patterns and sometimes black spots and green spots and orange glows and all kinds of strange colors but for us that's reserved for when we have you know graduate from this and right now we just want to get the basics of finding a core understanding the size and shape understanding the fissures what they look like so we're, we have serendipite which is in my opinion quite good and yeah, we'll start working on cracking this. <laughs> 